Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, I must say, man, I'm very, 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 very upset at myself for not, you know, doing New Toronto Three on video. It was a little long. Um, I, you know, I was kind of spooked by his last album with the label, kind of his con to get out of his contract. I decided to do it on stream, and I must say, man, I'm very impressed with this new Toronto. I have to say that this is his best new Toronto. A lot of you guys will argue that new Toronto 2 is his best, but I feel like just from a first listen and as much as I've listened to it on repeat, the highs of this album really, really sparked me, man, where, you know, obviously we have, hold on, let me, uh, let me pull it up right here real quick. When we get to Pricey Spicy, Cold as Playboy, um, 10 Fugs, Dope Boy Diaries, Broke in a Minute, which I did not watch the video for it that came out last week, but Broke for a Minute, man, I gotta say, man, that is probably one of his best tracks that will be on the radio and can and probably will still go viral, especially now. I think it was perfect marketing from Tory Lanez because the fact that he had, um, you know, quarantine radio going on, which is going crazy right now, you know, very brilliant idea from Tory Lanez. If Tory Lanez didn't make it in music, man, he could definitely be an entertainer because he is definitely entertaining. I said definitely twice, I don't know why, but, um, you know, right now, you know, it's peaking at 300K, it will peaking at 500K when he had Drizzy on there, but he's averaging about 300K viewers on that, so I'm very surprised that his album only did 65,000 in the first week. I think it did 65K, it might have did 55K, one of the other, but still, though, that's a low number for someone who is Tory Lanez, who has, you know, two tracks with, um love and uh say it which i felt like with you know he was at his peak of his career a lot of people really don't realize man i think that tory lanes is very respected but he's very underrated in music man a lot of people really don't realize how talented he is especially when remember when he had the rap battle with going on with joiner lucas and you know i think it was joiner lucas and he had a couple people he was going against and i felt like tory lanes kind of just you know held his own as a rapper and people kind of just you know he's not just a singer he can actually rap his ass off so when we get to this new Toronto, was you know new Toronto series is all him rapping and whatnot. I feel like man, he he did his fucking thing. Especially we get, look, we, as 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 you know, as I feel bad, I'm gonna listen to some of the tracks with you guys, man. But you know, Pricey Spicy is probably my favorite track on this album. The most repeated track I've played because of you know it sounds like it would be something on um you know it sounds like if he actually did Lord knows by himself and not with Meat Mill. This is what this is what it would have uh, became like. Like when he said that man like I could literally feel that pain like you know the summer's coming you know like uh, like my stomach turning like I felt that man like you gotta understand when you know Tory Lanez's background a man came from nothing couch to couch type shit and for you to see his story now where he's at like that's why when you laugh I laugh at broke boy now because I can't remember when I was broke, you know, like that, that shit is actually funny to me. Like when the beat oh I first heard this track, man, I thought that Tory Lanez, this was the intro that was going to, this was the intro, alright? This was the intro that I was just like, damn, okay, you reeled me in. Show me what else you got on this shit. Show me what else you can do on this thing. And he held the damn thing because I felt like his first eight tracks on this album was just nothing short but amazing, man. This is probably one of his best starts to an album in a long time. Excluding the um the chicks tapes, but like out of the new Torontos. Then we get to the uh the coldest Playboy where I find where I feel like he showcased his bro. Back on road, only fuck a That's a costly pleasure. I, I, I fucking love when an artist has a grudge like that's why sometimes I can appreciate Nav because when you have this fire in you when you have this kind of just grudge resentment in you and you kind of just it's kind of just like fuck the world because nobody had your back no one had you no one believed in you no one thought that you could do what you could do and then you finally flexing I feel like it's the perfect revenge and you can just literally talk your shit in the music and you can hear you know you can hear the pain exuding through his music. So much, I'm starting to believe. I done brought a one Chanel and she got conceited. The school I was selling dope. He said, I'm a self-made nigga, bitch. If you want to leave, leave me. But talk your shit, Tori. She came outside with this cheese. I call it Ratatouille. Oh. Watching out for feds. I got a key so dogs with me. I don't know, I don't, uh, the F word, you can't say the F word. I don't know how he's gonna get power with that, but apparently it's, it's cool. Tori can say it, so it's cool. He's not gonna get canceled for that, but um, I thought that Coldest K Playboy following Price and Spicy, man, that, was, that one two combo right there was crazy. Now, Stupid Again, I really wasn't really like feeling Stupid Again after my first listen, but 10 Fucks with Monsa, I feel like was kind of just like the vintage story that we got. This is vintage story right here. This is what Tori does. This is what brought Tori up. 
Spanish. And then we go to Dope Boy Diary, which I felt like it was just a full-on freestyle from Tory Lanez from start to finish. Where, exactly, Dope Boy Diary is talking about his upcoming, talking about his upbringing, man. Like, and that beat, that beat sounded like we about to go into a championship game on motherfucking goddamn on a Sunday game six type shit. This is what this track sound like. I lose with this PD, cause we trying to get more than rich. For the fame and all the glitz. My bitch had tits, so I bought a tits. I'm a little older, so I'm older till I talk to I forgot about Pricey Spicy too, we get the end of the track. But he had the pop smoke kind of tribute where he had the little flow with it. I kind of respected that as well. A lot of people like to say that Tory Lane steals flows, but I don't agree with that at all. I think that, you know, he pays a little homage, okay, here and there. But for the most part, he's going to implement his melodic singing. And then he's going to kind of just rap. I mean, for, for, sometimes, you know, he can sound like another rapper. I, guys, I give you guys that. But, you know, he's still Tory Lanez. The way he, the way he sounds and plays with that auto-tune is fire. Hey, I always say it while Pop Smoke, RP Pop Smoke, but why was Pop Smoke purring at me? I was like, is, is he a tiger? Why is he purring at me? He did his thing on that, man. Uh, another track that I want to say before we go, uh, the Lil TJ, I didn't listen to Lil TJ. A lot of you guys want me to do the first listen. I probably will do it after the Polo G, but um, I got to say, man, listening to a you know Lil TJ on there, he kind of sounds like a little A Boogie, a mini A Boogie. Um, I guess it's kind of that New York sound, you guys saying, that New York sound where they have. I think Accident Happens was a cool track. I did think that Tory Lanez had a better, which is his album, so he did, should have a better verse than Lil TJ than his features. But um, that kind of track was kind of like skippable for me. Broken a minute though, we all. Bro, this yeah. beat is crazy, yeah. boy. Uh, the beat. The fuck is niggas talking about? What the beat? <laughs> he said that bit. My face wasn't it. If your face wasn't in it, you can't do anything about it. I don't think that's how the saying go, but y'all know what I mean. All right, I think that Broken a Minute was probably his best single. Uh, post whatever we got in, you know, from Love Can't Say. Like, I feel like this track right here is the track that's going to be played on the radio, all the park. Well, if we weren't in quarantine right now, we'd be playing at this young at the parties. We would be enjoying this shit, having a great old time, man. But that track right there is fire. And then we get to tracks like, um, you know, obviously the pain. Thought that pain was the most. Man, I'm trying to go through this already. Right trying to stuff the reef in the pocket with the Nina shit. I'm popping with the heater if I need it. I'm in the kitchen baking like I need a child free. Okay, Adidas was fire too. When I see this track right here. I don't want to go past Pain, man, because I just want to let you, let you know that Pain was amazing. Pain from, from start to finish. I felt like, again, where Tori, the reason Tori can make so much heartfelt, soulful, trap, struggle music is because... Of his upcoming man because when you have nothing you remember what it feels like to have nothing It's really hard to kind of just bring that experience out in your music if you've never been through that If you've been given everything in your life then how you actually gonna like sound soulful and sound hurt It just won't come off. It won't come off, you know natural So I feel like it's natural for Tory Lanez to just be like yo, I'm mad at the world right now You gonna feel my testimony. I fuck with that man and but I don't want to get past that I feel like who needs love though. I got a lot of y'all said in the stream that everybody loves the track all right, 400 people does not count as everybody. All right, thank you guys for 400 for watching me on Twitch. But I'm saying 400 people does not count as everybody. I feel like this is kind of the underrated track where everybody was kind of just like, what? What the fuck is this? That was fire, man. Now, uh, this is where the album kind of gets really dull for me, man. A lot of you guys really say, uh, that's why I kind of just... The intro was strong, but when I say dull, man, I kind of just, it wasn't as strong as the beginning of the album. We get to the later album. What the? Why are people still talking? We get to the later album of the album, man, and a lot of you guys love Letter to the City 2 and Back in Business. Those kind of weren't my favorite. It, it, I think it was a mood thing because when I did like, a ride late at night, man, I did kind of like, you know, listen to it and feel that, but I felt like it was just a different type of vibe of what we were getting from the first track. Um, very, very slowed down. Like, pain was pain. But Letter to the City was kind of just a slowed down poem, and I kind of wasn't really like feeling that. Back in the Business was the track that really kind of just was similar to a track I already heard, you know, and 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 Pricey Spicy, Coldest Playboy, um, you know, Pain, those kind of the tracks I already heard already. So. When you guys said Back in Business was fire, it's kind of just, it was, yeah, it was cool. It was a cool track, but I already heard that. Now, I really want to say this is really wild. Um, MSG4, God's Children, a lot of you guys said that you guys didn't like it. Actually, 300 people in the chat said that they didn't like this track. Now, um, if you guys know Mary J. Blige, which I, you know, Mary J. Blige, I got the Supreme shirt. Na, 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 na. That's where the sample comes from. <laughs> 
that's where that sample comes from. So instant vibe, instant classics, man. Um, I love that sample game. Drake did the same thing on Views when he sampled uh, Mary J. Blige. I forget which track it was. But, you know, when he sampled this track, this track was actually really cool. I, 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 this is more Tory. This is more of a chick tape vibe. I thought that Tory did great, man. There was only four tracks on here that I didn't like. There was only four of them. I'm not going to name which four I didn't like, but there was only four of them I didn't like. I've listened to this album about ten times already. That's how good this album is for me this year. Probably one of the best albums this year in terms of rapping. Uh, if I had to give this a rating, man, I would probably give this a, a, a eight out of ten, man. Eight out of ten for real on the borderline of eight and a half out of ten. I think that you know he did exactly what he did, and for it to be kind of a throwaway album to get out of his deal, he did his thing, man. Uh, Tory Lanez with the strongest, one of his strongest intros, or an intro, yeah, intros actually, and his start, strongest start to an album, you know, probably in a while. Like this is probably the best start I feel like. Now, a lot of you guys want to compare New Toronto two and New Toronto three. I don't really, you know, if you guys want to compare, you know, apples to oranges. Um, I still say New Toronto 3 is better. Uh, four, only, only four bad tracks. And as much as I listen to it, I think like eight of these tracks made my playlist on Spotify. If you're on my Spotify playlist, man, that's a no skip. You literally get played. I, you, my Spotify playlist, you can play it start to finish. No skips. That's how fire it is. So um, I loved it, man. I'm, I apologize for not doing a video on it. I, it was like Twitch. I did it on Twitch. When I first heard the two tracks, I was like, damn. I, bro, I was hyped. Because I was hyped on the Twitch. If you get me hyped on a live reaction, that means you know it on the video. It's hype, bro. Like... Because I'm a different animal when it comes behind this camera. But um, get in the comments below, man. Let me know what's your favorite track. Let me know which tracks you like, which tracks you dislike. Let me know if you guys think that Tory steals a lot of flows. Let me know if you think that Tory is his own artist or do you think he steals a lot of rap flows. Um, again, let me know which track was bad. Let me know if you like New Toronto 2 or New Toronto 3. Get in the comments below and all that good stuff. Don't forget, follow me on social media. Let me join you here. And until the next time, get a video to 3,000 likes. 3,000 likes, man. I think what? What do I need to do? New Toronto. What? Nah, I can't even do that. New Toronto flashback. Chicks take flashback. I could do that. 3,000 likes would do Chicks take flashback. Um, yeah, if you want my playlist, go ahead. Uh, hit to the Patreon. You get my playlist for a dollar. Dollar in the dream. Two dollars for the Spotify playlist. If you guys want to see my full reaction, Days Before Rodeo was still up there. A lot of other reactions are also up there from the full reaction. That's three dollars. Discord, five dollars. Dollar in the dream, man. Support your boy. I've been doing this for four years. Support your boy. But till next time, man. It's been Boy Dev. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Follow me on social media. Let me join here. And until the next time, we are out. Peace.